So in last lesson, we took a look at parenting and how moving shell actually moves the whole body just like this. So you can actually go over here onto the animation pane. So you can see that as I move the uh, shell, it moves the whole body, but it does not give us uh, control over the shell now. So if I were to expand the shell, so if I were to resize the shell, then everything else expands with it. So sometimes we may not want that. So in that case, what you have to use is you have to use peg. So I'm not, I'm going to unparent all of these. So drag it out right here. So I'm just going to drag it out and unparent all of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use something known as a peg. So for that, I'm going to go to windows and then I'm going to go to uh, toolbar right here and then I'm going to go to display. So for the peg to work, you have to make sure that this is on display all mode. So it shouldn't be on display. It should be on display all mode. Otherwise, the peg won't be added. So once you change that into display all mode, you press the plus icon right over here and here you have an option for peg. So you can simply click on peg right over here and this is uh, a parent, a blank parent that actually popped up. So I can actually keep this over here on to the top. So let me just keep the peg on to the top right over here and then move all of these parts to the peg. So I'm going to select all of the layers and move it inside the peg just like this. So now what happens is that once I select the peg, now all of the parts actually move and the shell is independent now. So I can move around the shell. I can expand this out and it doesn't uh, uh, doesn't actually affect anything else. So I can go to the peg, I can have a simple animation. So I'm just going to select all of these over here and then I'm going to add in something like 20 frames, press F5 and there you go, there's the frames right over here. There's no uh, frames on pegs because it is an invisible, kind of like an invisible there. So I can go over here and then add an animation to the entire peg, just like this. And there you go, you have the entire animation and then you can do a bit of an animation to the shell as well. So maybe it is rotating a bit just like this. So you can see that individual animation can be added in just like that. So I can add in animation to all of these just like this. Individual animations to all of these. And then you can see that this is how you can actually work around this with this. So you can see that individual animations with much more dynamic controls can be added with pegs even uh, uh, if you want uh, to add in details to the body items as well. So uh, this is definitely a plus point in the, compared to just using parenting. So that is how you utilize PEG inside of Toon Boom Harmony. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.